What's up, Brian here from GMB Fitness. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a beginner leg workout that you can do without any equipment at all. Now you might be thinking, well, they're probably just gonna be squats, right? Well, yeah, there's gonna be one variation of the squat in there, but we're gonna keep it fun, show you some other stuff that you can do. It's gonna help with your balance, your strength, and hey, let's just get right into it. For the majority of these movements, you need to make sure you have the world's ugliest chair available. We have that here. Of course, I'm just kidding. You can use anything you want. This is gonna be for support. Our first movement is going to be the Romanian deadlift, a single leg Romanian deadlift. And after that, you're gonna raise your knee up. Now notice that Andy has his, in this case, his right hand on the chair. So he's gonna bend his left leg. From this position, he's simply going to lean forward and bring the leg and back. So this is the Romanian deadlift. Don't worry about going too far down. You're just looking at the range of motion that is good for you. Once you bring the leg to the front, you're simply gonna bring your knee up as high as you can. This is gonna help with balance. And so once you're very comfortable with this, then what we're gonna do is get rid of the chair. Andy's gonna continue doing this, and this is working on balance. So once again, bend the leg a little bit, bring the leg up as high as you can and back, leaning forward, and then bring the knee up as high as you can in the front. Make sure to do both legs. Nicely done. Next up, we have the modified Cossack squat. Andy's gonna just step to the side. He's gonna squat down just a little bit. He's gonna drive off of this outside leg and go right back to the standing position. That's it. Now, typical classic squat, you might have seen this before, and people go all the way down to the ground. You don't need to do this, okay? It's totally cool. You're working on your own range of motion, okay? What's good for you? In this case, Andy's giving us a great demonstration of how he's loading the outside leg and driving off of that leg when he returns to standing. That's really the key point here. So focus on that when you're working on this modified classic squat. So once again, we have a fancy prop. Uh, you can really use anything you want. In this case, I'm, you know, waist height, it really doesn't matter, okay? So go ahead and watch the movement and then just find something in your house that you can use that's gonna help you with the movement. All you're gonna be doing, stepping back, performing a lunge, and then you're going to twist your body and touch the object behind you. That's it, okay? Now, when you're doing this, you're probably gonna feel it in your quad a little bit. Don't overstretch. So what I mean by this is that, it, yeah, yeah. We're not going into a bridge or anything fancy like that. All you're trying to do is get into that lunge position and then rotate and touch what's behind you. This is very good in terms of looking at strengthening everything in different positions. It's not simply looking at just legs. It's being in a position and being able to move around in that position. And so this is a good place to start to get used to this sort of movement. Yes, it's gonna strengthen your legs, but again, it's also looking at balance as well as coordination. So the next move we're gonna be taking a look at is the walking frogger. Now, the cool thing about this is that it really doesn't matter what position you're in. If you can't go all the way down into the squat and get your heels down, it's not a problem at all, okay? You're really just working at your own pace, it, what you can do. And so you're simply gonna place your hands on the ground. If you can get your hands flat, cool. If you can't load your hands due to wrist issues or whatever, you could, you know, make fists. You know, you could just put your fingers on there. Whatever's fine. You're simply gonna walk your hands forward and then you're gonna walk your feet forward one at a time. Again, if you can't get your heels down on the ground, and then what you're gonna do is just keep your heels up. Walk your hands forward, then walk your feet forward. And then you're going to do that backwards. So walk the feet forward or the hands, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. All we're just trying to do is get into this semi-squat semi position. I mentioned we're not gonna be doing squats. This is the only squat that you're really gonna be doing with this session, and that's great. So again, focus on what's good for you if you can't get your heels down, perfectly fine. If you can't get your hands flattened onto the ground, also perfectly fine. Do what works for you, be safe, have fun. So those are four exercises that you can use. And I just wanna say that those are just examples, all right? It doesn't mean that you should only be doing these four. 
The most important thing though is just to find something that's good for you. And as a matter of fact, you can just choose one of those movements and just work on it for a while. Which brings up the question, how do you work on it? Well, rather than thinking about how many sets or reps or things like that, what I suggest is you practice the movement. And what does that mean? It means you just try it out. See, can you do this? How does it feel? And get into a position that feels good for you. That probably means that you're doing it safely. And that's a really important thing. Do it, try it once, take a little break, then do it again. If you're still feeling good, do the same. And just keep repeating that. Just don't even worry about repetitions and things like that. Again, it's a matter of practice. The more you practice something with intent and you're aware of what's going on, the better off it's going to be, which means that you're getting stronger, increasing your range of motion, and also improving your body control. That's really important. So once again, these are just some examples. Practice the movements, enjoy it. And once you're good with these movements, check out the other videos that we have. Uh, you will be improving your strength, your flexibility, and your control. So you'll be ready for some of the other examples that we have on our channel. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. Let us know how you're doing. We would love to hear from you. Cheers. I'm just gonna wait till he's done. It's kind of like a dog working on your leg. Oh, sorry. <laughs>